Okay, let's go ahead and determine whether line L and M are parallel. So in uh, geometry, one way we can uh, express parallel lines is we, we actually uh, state the name of the line. So this right here, L, is representing uh, this line, or this is the name, or this is the notation that represents this line. So we'll call this line L. And then down here we have line M. And in geometry, we can say line L is parallel. This is the notation for parallel. Uh, 2m, but we have a question mark here because we don't know if, in fact, these two lines are parallel. Uh, they kind of certainly do look parallel, but we don't know for sure. So my question to you is whether you think, indeed, 100%, these lines are indeed parallel. So if you think they are parallel, go ahead and put that into the comment section and justify your answer. And if they are not parallel, if you don't think they are parallel and you know why they're not, go ahead and put your justification uh, into the comment section as well. Okay, so obviously these lines are either parallel or not, but we have this other line right here, and uh, let's go ahead and give that a name as well. We'll call that line T, and this is what we call a transversal. It's just a, it's, it's another line that crosses through two or more other lines. So this is uh, what we call a transversal, and then obviously we have some information here some angles, and this is enough information for us to be able to determine whether, in fact, these lines are parallel. So this is uh, kind of geometry 101, basic stuff that you definitely need to understand at, uh, you know, high school level geometry, but this is not that difficult. But uh, more than answering this question, I want to really uh, focus in on uh, the notation as well when you're looking at figures because this stuff can get a little bit deceiving and I want to make sure that you do not get tricked on some sort of test or quiz that you might be taking. But uh, I'm going to get to this um, question here whether these two lines are parallel in just one second. But first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of your uh, math course, I can help you excel in that respective course. If you're going to be taking any test that has math on it, uh, for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, AccuPlace, or CLEP exam, Alex exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely want to check out my homeschool uh, math program. Uh, I've been uh, working with homeschoolers for uh, well over a decade with a lot of success. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic just yet. You can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades. This is one of the most important things you can do to be successful in math is to take awesome math notes. If you're not taking great math notes or no math notes right now, if you start improving in this, you're going to see your grade just skyrocket. So you can thank me later uh, when you just are like so shocked at uh, what happens when you take great math notes. All right, so uh, let's take a look at this question. Obviously, the answer is either going to be yes, these uh, lines are parallel, or no, they are not. So let's go down here. And first, uh, let's just go ahead and, and uh, state the answer. So these lines are not parallel. Okay, so L is not parallel uh, to line M. Okay, and, and this is not even really correct notation. I'm just kind of making this notation up that these lines are not parallel to one another. Now, um, one thing that you want to notice here is, and this is very, very um, common in a lot of uh, standardized tests that I've seen through the years, like tests like the SAT, ACT, is that they'll give you two lines that look totally parallel. If you look visually, they look parallel. And uh, while we're at this, let's just go ahead and define what parallel means. Basically, parallel lines are like railroad tracks, right? So what we're saying is this line here will continue out to infinity, and this line here will continue out to infinity, and they will never cross or intersect with one another. So that's what uh, parallel lines are. But um, just as a little side note here, uh, the study, whether we can actually prove lines parallel, this actually kind of gets into a much more advanced uh, sphere and very um, abstract and what we call non-Euclidean mathematics. So when I was at the college level learning, studying 
uh, non-Euclidean geometry. And uh, that's uh, what we study here on planet Earth, what high school geometry, things like what we're looking at right now, we call that Euclidean geometry because there was this awesome mathematician that lived like a long, long, long time ago, Euclid, who's like the father of geometry. So it's kind of like the geometry we experience, you know, in our everyday visual life about like triangles, you know, um, having the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Hopefully you knew that. But this would be an example of like Euclidean geometry. But when you go to space and you start dealing with other uh, aspects <laughs> in the abstract world uh, that really have scientifically been proven, there are actually triangles uh, that have... Uh, the, the sum of the angles of those triangles are actually less than 180 degrees. So that's what we get into what we call non-Euclidean geometry. That's uh, for those of you that are going to continue on and learn uh, geometry at a much more advanced level. So I don't want to get too far um, in the details of you know what it means to be parallel because everyone pretty much intuitively knows that, hey, we're saying that this line and this line are never going to cross. So that's good enough, right? So if this line and this line are, in fact, parallel, there's a couple different notations we can use to establish that. So we can say L is parallel to M. Okay, so that's the first notation. And there's another notation that we can use that's pretty common as well. And um, that would be actually on this figure. So what it would be is like an arrow, okay, and another arrow on this line. Okay, sometimes it looks like this or sometimes it looks like this. So if you see two lines and you have a little arrow and arrow like this, that's indicating that these two lines here are in fact parallel. So that's notation that you have to look out for because if I just wrote this like so, I would be, and let's just go ahead and get rid of this 60 and 70 here for a second. This would indicate, either one of these here would indicate that these two lines are in fact parallel. Okay, so that's another notation that you want to be uh, familiar with. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and make sure I got these angles right. Okay, 60 was up there. And 70 degrees is down here. Okay, so L, N, M. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with this. So I already said that uh, these are not parallel lines, all they, they, although they do look parallel, okay? so, but don't get fooled into saying, oh, they look pretty parallel to me, so indeed they are parallel. That's what uh, you know, these tests are trying to trick you. Okay, so we have some angles here, and this is kind of the dead giveaway that, yes, we're going to use this information right here to determine whether these lines are, uh, in fact, parallel. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and erase this here. Oops, cancel that. All right, so um, let's talk about these angles, okay? So I'll get back to the 1670, but let's talk about this angle and this angle. So uh, in geometry, when you have a par uh, when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, you got all kinds of angles that are created. I have multiple other videos on this in my geometry playlist on my YouTube channel. Of course, I teach this super uh, thoroughly in my geometry course. But these two angles here are called alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. So uh, the main idea is this. They're interior, okay, because these angles inside the line are what we call interior angles. Lines over here would be like exterior angles. So these are interior, and they're, they, um, on, the, they're on the alternate side of this transversal. Okay, so on this angle and this angle or alternate interior angles. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do it this way. So angle X and angle Y are alternate interior angles, and then angle Z and angle W are alternate interior angles. So when you have alternate interior angles, when you're looking at that, and they are equal, okay, so let's just make something up. Let's say I had 70 degrees, and 70 degrees, when you have your alternate interior angles and they're in fact equal, that only happens when these two lines are indeed parallel, okay? So when you have parallel lines, alternate interior angles are parallel. Now, another interesting fact here, let's use something easier. Let's, cut, let's say these angles were 60 degrees, okay? So 60 and 60. Well, let's take a look at uh, this angle right here, okay? Now, if you look, this, this is 60 degrees. This is an acute angle. But here is another angle next to it, okay? So you have 60 and this angle right here, this whole entire angle is a line. So people don't really think 
of uh, a line having an angle to it, but it does. It's 180 degrees. So this angle right here is 120 degrees. Okay, so that means this angle right here is also 120 degrees. So 120 and 120, alternate interior angles. So that's another little thing that we want to know. But there's all sorts of angles that you need to know about when you have two parallel lines and a transversal. Okay, uh, alternate interior angles are uh, one of those that you need to know about. Okay, there's others. Uh, again, you'll want to check out some of my um, other videos on parallel lines and transversals. Very, very important uh, to understand this in uh, geometry. These uh, lines, parallel line questions come up all the time. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Basically, if these two angles were in fact um, equal, then we know that these are parallel. And if they're not equal, then these lines are not parallel. So obviously, we can go back up here and say, OK, alternate interior angles, uh, we've got 1670. They are not equal to one another. So although the figure looks, uh, you know, they look parallel, we can't, you know, there's no, this is, they're not parallel. Let me just say it that way, OK? And uh, again, it's pretty common for these tricky little math teachers to try to put something in there to confuse you. Okay, do not get confused about this. Notice I'm not saying, you know, the question would actually be like this. Are these lines parallel? I'm not saying any, there's no notation there that expresses that in fact these are parallel. But uh, if you understood this and you got this answer right, then I must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with a good old 1982 Mohawk and A plus and a 100 um, percent. You know, I'm glad I don't see these haircuts around. First of all, they took too much uh, hairspray. Um, they, I guess they were cool back in the good old days, but everybody who wore these haircuts probably doesn't have much hair anymore to wear these type of haircuts. But uh, it just goes to show how fashion and the times change. But we know what doesn't change? Math, okay? So even back in 1982, there was some uh, math student with a mohawk in some high school someplace uh, learning this stuff. But uh, so, you know, math is timeless. OK. All right. So anyways, if you got this video and you, you um, got this right, but even if you got this wrong, as long as you learned something, that was the whole idea. So if that was the case, if you learned a little bit of something about parallel lines or transversals, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. I got a whole playlist on geometry. I have additional videos on parallel lines or transversals. Of course, I teach this, uh, you know, very, very thoroughly in my geometry course. So that's the course you would want to check, uh, check out if you are studying this stuff. So my best math help will always be within my math help program. But um, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.